now we'll see the mechanism of action of cephalosporins. Cephalosporins are bacterial cell wall synthesis inhibitor. In one sentence, they will going to inhibit the bacterial cell wall synthesis. They are cell wall synthesis inhibitor and they are bactericidal in nature. They are going to kill or destroy the microorganisms. They will going to destroy and or kill the microorganisms. That's why they are bactericidal in nature. The rigid cell wall of bacteria, the rigid cell wall of bacteria, it will maintain the integrity shape and protect from it lysis due to the osmotic pressure. What is the function of cell wall? The rigid cell wall of bacteria. In the bacteria, the cell wall is for the integrity shape and it will protect from the lysis due to osmotic pressure. Now, the peptidoglycans. Peptidoglycans are the building blocks of the bacterial cell wall. Are the building blocks of the bacterial cell wall and it will provide the mechanical stability. What is the importance of peptidoglycan? They will act like a bacterial uh, they will act like a building blocks of the bacterial cell wall and this peptidoglycan will provide the mechanical stability. Now the cephalosporin what they do? The cephalosporins by inhibiting the bacterial cell wall synthesis, they arrest the synthesis or generation of peptidoglycan. Okay, all beta-lactam antibiotics, all beta-lactam antibiotics inhibit the transpeptidase to prevent the cross-linking of peptidoglycan. What they do? They inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme. They inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme which will prevent the cross-linking of peptidoglycans. So we will better understand when we say peptidoglycan. So it is consist of glycan chain which is cross-linked by peptide chain. When we say peptidoglycan means there are peptide and glycan. So it consists of glycan chain which is cross-linked by peptide chain. So this glycan chain is made up of alternating sugars N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid okay the glycan chain the glycan chain is cross-linked to the peptide chain and the cross-linking provide strain to the cell wall as you can see in the picture this is what is the peptidoglycan layer and this peptidoglycan layer is made up of peptide chain and glycan chain which are cross linked with each other which are cross linked with each other with each other and it will provide the mechanical strength to the cell wall then in between that there is a penicillin binding proteins but in case of cephalosporin these penicillin binding proteins are different penicillin binding proteins are different or this penicillin binding proteins are also called as transpeptidase they are also called as transpeptidase enzyme and in between that uh, peptidoglycan layer and in cell membrane there is a periplasmic space as you can see okay now what they do the synthesis of peptidoglycan requires an enzyme transpeptidase for the synthesis of peptidoglycan what we require transpeptidase enzyme the last step in the synthesis of peptidoglycan chain is the process of cross-linking with the help of enzyme transpeptidase. The penicillin binding protein or it is also called as transpeptidase. So penicillin binding proteins are the enzymes which is present in the cell membrane which takes part in the cross-linking of the peptidoglycan. So simply the mechanism of action of all beta-lactam antibiotics are they bind. Where they bind? They bind to the proteins which proteins penicillin binding proteins or transpeptidase enzyme all are same things transpeptidase enzyme they bind to the proteins or penicillin binding proteins or in case of cephalosporin the penicillin binding proteins are different so by binding with the penicillin binding proteins they inhibit the cross linking of the peptidoglycan peptide chain glycan chain 
they are cross linked with each other so they will inhibit cross linking and that's why there's a formation of cell deficient bacteria cell wall deficient bacteria which undergo lysis there's a lysis of bacteria and that's how they exert the bactericidal effect that's how they exert the bactericidal effects of cephalosporins